Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dustin here. Been a while since I've seen you guys. Thought I'd bring you a video and a little issue that I was encountering here with the 2014 Silverado behind me. Issue is corrected and I've seen a lot of this on the forums because I was doing research on it myself and happened to come across several recommendations. Seemed like most people wanted to throw money at it, but I wanted to give you a few free ideas first before you start running, before you start throwing money at this problem. Try these things out and see if they work for you. So the other day whenever I was driving my pickup here, I noticed it was nighttime of course. So it's almost November here, so time's about to change, so I'm driving a lot more in the dark here lately. And I noticed that uh, after driving my truck for a little while, the lights would kind of just pulse. They, uh, mostly just the outer lights, it was really noticeable with the fog lights on. And whenever I'd step on my brake, they almost went just completely dark. So I thought, well that's kind of weird, and immediately you know, hopped out, went, went and checked out the front to see if uh, you know if they were flickering like I thought and sure enough so I went and checked out the tail lights and they were kind of pulsating too so I thought that's kind of weird you know so due to this I did a little bit of research online found some ideas of what it might be and the first things first let's check some grounds I'm going to kind of show you how to trace out those grounds on your pickup you know this doesn't just apply for a Silverado it can really apply for any vehicle so what I'm going to do is pop the hood we're going to run around to the passenger side where the battery is all right let's get this hood popped you notice that your headlights are dimming, especially your fog lights are dimming whenever you step on your brakes uh, at night time, and that you have some pulsating in the lights here, maybe even a little bit on the dash, I noticed that too. Don't be too concerned, I've got an idea for you guys here. What you want to do is check out where your battery is over here. Of course, this one's got a little plastic cover on it that you can take it off. So right here is your positive terminal, and right over there is your negative terminal. What you can do as you can trace these out here, you can see like where this wire runs over here and runs down. You can see where this runs to a few different grounds. Most notably, this negative will run over here to the passenger side. There is a ground right here that this ties to on the frame. Mine was extremely dirty and a little bit corroded just because, you know, this truck is a daily driver, goes on a lot of dirt roads and things of that nature. It was pretty muddy. So what I did uh, is I just cleaned that up real good. I took my pressure washer, cleaned it up real good, hit it with some WD-40 and kind of scrubbed it with the old toothbrush. And that helped my issue. That actually fixed the issue for me simply by cleaning that ground. I think there's another one that runs to the uh, firewall here. And then also you want to check where the positive leads over to your alternator. Just check for any corrosion that you might see or heck even any mud or anything that might be on it that might be causing a bad connection. That solved my problem. Okay, that was kind of my free fix there. If that doesn't work for you guys, the next thing I'd recommend doing is having your battery and your alternator tested. And you can actually do this for free by going to a local auto parts store, such as AutoZone or O'Reilly, maybe even Napa, I'm not 100% sure. I know um, the AutoZone and O'Reilly around here, they have a little machine that they can hook up to your battery and it'll tell you if that battery is good or not and also if your alternator passes and that's absolutely free they so that was just a real quick video to tell you guys some tips on checking a few things out checking your grounds your alternator and your battery if you're having issues with pulsating lights on these Silverado or GMC trucks so hopefully this helps you guys out if not please guys feel free to use the comments down below as an open forum post your problems with this maybe some folks out there can help you out or maybe I can help you out with this Certainly be glad if I could help somebody fix their issue. Alright guys, if you did like the video, be sure to leave a like on it. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button. we got lots of great content here with this pickup, as well as a 98ZR2 S10, if you guys aren't familiar with what that is. And we got lots of great content coming in the future. And be sure to share the video with your friends if they got this dimming headlight issue. Alright guys, until next time, take care.